Hi friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with soil mechanics in the topic of slope stability. So the first question, slopes is classified into dash types. Option A 2, Option B 3, Option C 4, Option D 5. So the correct answer is Option A 2, that is finite slope and infinite slope. Next question, which of the following is an example of slope extending to infinity? Option A inclined phase of earth dams, option B embankments, option C cuts, option D none of mention. So the correct answer is option D none of mention. So next question, long natural slope of coercionless soil is inclined at 12 degree to the horizontal. What will be the factor of safety of the slope if phi equal to 30 degree? Option A 1.6, option B 2.7, option C 0.13, option D 0.4. So the correct answer is option B 2.7. So next question, the type of slip surface or failure surface are option A 4, option B 2, option C 3, option D 5. So the correct answer is option C 3. Next question, the ratio of total depth to the depth H is called option A depth factor, option B slope factor, option C depth failure, option D base failure. So the correct answer is option A depth factor. So next question, the depth factor DF for toe failure is option A DF greater than 1, option B DF less than 1, option C DF equal to 1, option D DF equal to 0. So the correct answer is option C DF equal to 1. So next question, planar surface commonly occur in option A embankment with specific plane of weakness. Option B all embankments, option C soil deposit, option D foundation of infinite depth. So the correct answer is option A embankment with specific plane of weakness. So next question, according to Bennett, non-circular slip surface may arise in option A non-homogeneous dams, option B embankment dams, option C homogeneous dams, option D soil deposit with specific plane of weakness. So the correct answer is option C homogeneous dam. Next question, the rupture moss sliding down a surface in the definite pattern resembles option A curve, option B cycloid, option C ellipse, option D circle. So the correct answer is option B cycloid. Next question, rectangular plot method has been suggested by option A Coleman, option B Bishop, option C Singh, option D Tezagi. So the correct answer is option C Singh. So next question, the slip circle having the minimum factor of safety is called option A critical circle, option B failure slip circle, option C critical slip circle, option D none of mention. So the correct answer is option C critical slip circle. The next question, in the rectangle plot method if there are n slices, the total number of ordinates will be option A n minus 1, option B n, option C n minus 2, option D none of mention. So the correct answer is option A n minus 1. So next question, when a dam A is built of impervious compressible soil, water is entrapped in the pore space due to option A excessive pore pressure, option B volume change in the soil mass, option C low shear strength of soil, option D unsuitable of soil mass. So the correct answer is option B the volume change in the soil mass. So next question, the magnitude and the distribution of pore water pressure on the slip surface can be calculated from option A pressure net, option B test data, option C graphical method, option D rectangular plot method. So the correct answer is option A pressure net. Next question, the pore water pressure at any point on the slip surface is represented by option A piezometric head, option B pore pressure, option C factor of safety, option D failure plane. So the correct answer is option A piezometric head. So next question, the estimation of construction pore pressure can be made with the help of option A SVD circle method, option B Bishop method, option C Hilf method, option D rectangle plot method. So the correct answer is option C Hilf method. Next question, in the friction circle method it is assumed that the resultant reaction is dash to the friction circle. Option A perpendicular, option B tangential, option C parallel, option D none of mention. So the correct answer is option C parallel. 
So next question, the friction circle assumes that the failure surface as option A cycloid, option B curve, option C arc of failure, option D none of mention. So the correct answer is option C arc of failure. So next question, the factor K in the radius of friction circle K or sin phi depends on option A radius of friction circle, option B frictional resistance offered, option C cos a resistance, option D central angle of slip arc. So the correct answer is option D central angle of slip arc. So next question, Taylor stability number is represented by the term option A SC, option B SN, option C CM, option D HC. So the correct answer is option B SN. So next question, for purely frictional soil, the Taylor stability number is option A unity, option B zero, option C less than one, option D greater than one. So the correct answer is option B zero. So next question, the safe bearing capacity can also be referred as option B net safe bearing capacity, option B ultimate bearing capacity, option C safe bearing pressure, option D net soil pressure. So the correct answer is option B ultimate bearing capacity. So next question, the bearing capacity of coarse and less soil at the ground surface is option A unity, option B less than 1, option C 0, option D greater than 1. So the correct answer is option C 0. So next question, Rankin consider the equilibrium of second soil element is option A base of the structure, option B below the foundation, option C edge of the footing, option D top of the footing. So the correct answer is option C edge of the footing. So next question, basic observe dash type of bearing capacity failures, option A 2, option B 4, option C 3, option D 5. So the correct answer is option C 3. Next question, in local shear failure, the development of plastic equilibrium is option A full, option B partial, option C zero, option D none of mention. So the correct answer is option A full. So next question, punching shear may be occur in the loose sand with the density less than option A 45 percentage, option B 50 percentage, option C 35 percentage, option D 20 percentage. So the correct answer is option C 35 percentage. So next question, local shear failure is associated with soil having option A high compressibility, option B high pore pressure, option C low porosity, option D low compressibility. So the correct answer is option A high compressibility. Again we will see next video. Thank you.